At VTT we are very familiar from the technological perspectives, but then we know that, that that is not enough anymore if we are really targeting to radical changes. We need to broaden the definition of what we mean by innovation. I'm rather sure that there will always be some unintended consequences, even though you, your, your intentions are good. What will happen after something will happen? Something that we didn't expect. There's no way of, of being able to, to predict all of this. As our world is faced with unprecedented challenges, the role of technology is and will be paramount to our survival. However, technology alone can take us on a dangerous path one of the m most fundamental reasons why, um, why we are facing the crisis that we are globally facing today is this idea that we can solve problems in isolation, that we can define problems in isolation and, and, and solve them. One of the most obvious examples of this is the car. The car was invented primarily because when people were moving en masse into cities, there was a lot of problems with horse, horse husbandry. So taking care of horses and, and everything that went along with it, all the way to having horse on the streets all across cities like London, that actually being a problem. And then you fast forward 150 years and we are in a situation with you know climate change and you think about what was the original problem that you tried to solve with the car, and it was horse An irony of our times that the car, developed to move ever faster, should now be slowed down by its own numbers. We are now witnessing the advent of, of new exponential technologies, technologies that are advancing way faster than the industrial era technologies did. It took uh, ChatGPT uh, three weeks to reach 100 million people. And now with threads coming out, it took something like five days to reach 100 million people. So we have this exponential curve, which is making the progress so much faster. And then we are making advancements in areas like synthetic biology and AI and nanotechnology, um, which is basically just coming on top of this predicament where we are already beyond tipping points in many of the planetary boundaries. It's very challenging to keep up with the pace of the, of the current changes. But that is exactly why we need to develop the, the capability of, of constant learning, adaptability and uh, ability to collaborate. We cannot imagine unknown futures if we have a homogenic group who is doing the imagining. So we need lots of different people from different backgrounds, from different sectors from our societies to do the imagining together. What is required is, is lots of agility and, and un understanding of the systemic changes. We need to create uh, approaches how we can in advance try to think of the, these externalities and kind of negative impacts um, uh, in a kind of new way. And and this is what we want to explore in IBEX, is that how we could in advance to, to try to make sure that uh, we are not creating more harm than actually uh, benefit or good.